Welcome to the Learning Horizon. In this video, we will learn about two-dimensional shapes. A two-dimensional shape is a closed shape with only two dimensions, that is, length and width. For example, a square. This square is closed. This square has length and it has width. These two-dimensional shapes lay flat on a surface because they do not have any thickness. So, 2D shapes are also called flat shapes. The two-dimensional shapes have some important attributes. And in this video, we will talk about two basic attributes like sides and vertices. Sides are the straight line segments that connect together to form a closed shape. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here we have 4 straight line segments. That is, we have 4 sides that is connected together to form a closed shape. A point or a corner where two sides meet is called a vertex. For example, these two sides are meeting at this common point and this point is called a vertex. Two or more such vertex together is called vertices. In the same shape, let us see how many vertices do we have. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this shape has 4 sides and 4 vertices. Now, since we know the definition of two-dimensional shapes and these two basic attributes, let us look at some of the common 2D shapes and understand these attributes better. Let us first begin with a circle. Circle is a closed shape with no straight sides, therefore no vertex. It is made up of a curved line. Circles are perfectly round. Now what does that mean? It means that each point on this curved line is at equal distance from its center. For example, this distance is exactly same as this. No matter from which point on the curve you measure, it's at equal distance from this center. Some real world example for a circle is a button or a round clock. Both of these are perfectly round and therefore they are circles. Oval Oval also do not have any straight sides and hence they do not have any vertex too. They are also made up of curved line like a circle. But they are not perfectly round. They appear to be stretched out. Some real world example for a oval is a watermelon or a rugby ball. Now let us look at some shapes with straight sides. Triangle As the name suggests, triangle is a shape with three straight sides that is 1, 2 and 3. And they have three vertices 1, 2, 3. Some real world example for a triangle is this traffic sign. Also a nacho chips. Both of these are perfect examples for a triangle. Square Square is a shape with four straight sides, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, and four vertices 1, 2, 3, 4. All the sides of a square are equal. Some examples are a chessboard or a carom board. Both of these have all four sides equal. Rectangle Rectangle is again a shape with four sides and four vertices. But then, how is a rectangle different from a square? In a rectangle, only the opposite sides are equal. That is, this side is equal to this side and this side is equal to its opposite side, that is this one. But in a square, we have all the four sides equal. Square and rectangle both have four sides. They are also called as quadrilaterals. Some real world examples for a rectangle are a door 
and a bookshelf. Pentagon A closed shape with five sides and five vertices is called a pentagon. Some examples of a pentagon are as shown. Hexagon A closed shape with six sides and six vertices is called a hexagon. Some examples are as shown. Octagon A closed shape with eight sides and eight vertices is called a octagon. Some examples are as shown. To summarize, we learn the definition of a two-dimensional shape. These shapes are the closed shape with only two dimensions that is length and width. They do not have any thickness. We learnt about two basic attributes that is sides and vertices. A straight line segment that connects together to form a closed shape is called a side. The point or the corner where two sides meet is called a vertex. Two or more vertex together is called vertices. Then we looked into some basic two dimensional shapes. If you have any queries or suggestions for this video, kindly leave us a comment below. If you are looking for any practice worksheets or anchor charts, please check the description below.